All right, in this demo, we're going to talk about the creation of our root level folder for our project, for our exercise. And we're also going to talk about HTML structure. All right, so all these concepts, which we will cover, are available in chapter four, creating a simple page. All right, so let's get started. First things first. I'm going to create a new folder and click too fast there. Sorry. Let's just rename this and we're going to call this exercises. Okay. And this is what you should do for each of your projects. You should create a root folder for each of your projects, each of your exercises, and then place those inside of a parent folder. So in our case, our exercises, I'll just have this folder. I'll open this up. I'll create a new folder, and this will be exercise one Now I'm going to open exercise 01 create a new folder and we're going to call this folder images all right so this is what you're going to do for every exercise you'll create a root level folder give the folder a, a meaningful name and then likely in almost every project you're going to have an images folder inside now we will be adding an image so I already have one. We'll go over images later, but I have one already, so I'm going to place it inside. All right, so every image you use in your project will go inside your images folder, which is inside your root level folder, in this case, exercise one. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close this folder. What we're going to do next is create what is our basic HTML structure, and we'll talk about some of the terminology. All right, I'm going to be using text edit because I'm using the Mac OS. If you're using a PC, then you will use notepad because we're going to hard code this first, uh, or I should say our first few exercises, okay? And how to use or how to set up either WordPad or text edit is available inside chapter four, okay? All right, so let's get started. First thing we need to do is we need to tell the user client, the web browser, what kind of code is coming its way. And we're going to do that with what's called a doc type. So let's go ahead and create our doc type. And our doc type is HTML. So this simply tells the web browser, the user client, that HTML5 language is coming its way and it should know how to interpret that language okay it will also hold this document to certain standards okay and that would be the html5 set of standards all right now let's go ahead and open our html document and some elements are closed and some are open elements you'll notice this one Okay, this is an, a more of an uh, open element because we just have the bracket at the beginning and at the end. Uh, but many of your elements will be closed elements. So let's go ahead and I'll just drop down and let's close our HTML. Okay, so we've opened and we've closed an HTML document. Now let's go ahead and drop down after our HTML and we're going to open what is the head of the document. Certain elements go in the head of the document, certain elements go in the body of the document, and we're going to talk about those over the uh, course of the next few exercises. So the head of the document will close like so. Okay. Now, inside the head of the document, we're going to create a meta tag, a meta element. And this is information which 
the browser um, will need, will require to better understand how the page is being used or how the page is being displayed or what content is on the, on the page. In this case, we need to load a character set and it's done this way. So it looks like char set, but it's character set equals and then we need simple quotes and we can go ahead and end our meta tag. Now the character set we're going to load in this case is UTF-8. All right. So this is a really, really large character set. Lots of characters, lots of symbols, lots of icons, which can be used worldwide and they encompass many modern languages. Okay. So it's always a good idea to go ahead and establish the character set which your page is going to use. Now we're going to add the title of the document and you'll notice that the title opens and closes. Now you want to create a title which briefly but to the point describes the meaning of the page, the purpose of the page, the actual content of the page. So in our case, we could say um, learning, if I spell things correctly here, learning HTML structure. And we'll even go as far as to say EX01. Okay. Now, after the head of the documents, we create what is the body of the document. The body of the document is where our content will go. Okay, so there's the body of the document. I'm going to make this just a little larger and I'll make the code a little larger just so it's easy for us to see. Okay. Now let's go ahead and save our file. So I'm going to save. We're going to save our file just to make sure it's, it's, this file is going in the correct place. In my case, my files are on the desktop. So I'll look for the desktop. I'll find my exercises. I'll open the exercises. I'll then open the exercise one. And we're going to call our file index.html. Okay. So the very first page of a site, and we'll just say a site is the what's inside your root level folder. The very first page is always called index.html. Now there may be times where I have you rename the files when you turn them in and they'll likely be renamed with your name and then the name of the exercise. But get in the habit of the very first page initially, call the page index. They can always be renamed. All right, so let's go ahead and save this. I'll make this a little smaller just so you can see it. So we'll save and I'll take a look inside my exercise folder. And there is our index right along or right next to our images folder. All right, there you go. That was easy. We just finished up basically creating our very first HTML page. We talked about the structure. We talked about creating the root level folder and how to set up your root level folder. In the next demo, we're going to get started with adding content to our structure.